This week on Performance TV, the crew to show how lasers can make a race car look great, a way to make brakes better, and get more power from truck turbos. Next. Welcome to this week's Performance TV. Always something exciting when we have the folks in here playing around, having fun, being creative with AP Laser. And Brad, what in the world have we done with this modified? So we have brought you not just something special, but something groundbreaking because we have done the first laser etching that we've heard of on a pro modified car. Pair that with the new Saramark Ultra that'll be hitting the market later this year, probably about second quarter, and with vinyl. So you can see just how great of a mark you can get on bare metals with the AP Laser and Saramark. So you're telling me this was all AP Laser all the way down, and that's vinyl? Yes. So this is matte black vinyl, and that is black marking compound. Wow. Done with the AP Laser. Okay, so... Why would you have done something like this on a car? Because sometimes you'll see cars that get in accidents and the vinyl's ruined with it. And that's not really what you want going forward. Your marking compounds are more durable than just regular old vinyl. And whenever you get into a crash, that is going to stand a little bit tighter than this. Okay, so a marking compound, explain that. So basically what we do with the bare metal is we coat it with a Ceramark compound. This is the Ultra, so it's one for everything, from aluminum all the way to stainless. And we take the AP laser, we laser etch, and it bonds to that metal. That's the reason it'll stay to that metal. That metal has to basically come out for that compound to come out. Wow, that feels pretty cool too. And you didn't have to go very deep on that either. No, and the beauty of it is we can take a Brillo pad, we can take a pressure washer, we can take a stainless steel brush, and until we're actually removing the aluminum, we're not removing that mark. And this is a big piece. Yes, so with the open architecture of AP Laser, you can actually stick whatever size piece you have underneath it just so you can get what you need done. That's not the only place we see a lot of cool stuff that you can do on this car. Yes, yeah, so let's say we wanted to take part of the deck, the back decking or even this front decking off. We can etch that paint off and basically show the bare aluminum for a different effect. Well, it's not just aluminum that we can do with the AP Laser. There is a whole lot more. So the AP laser's been over here pretty busy. What do you have in here? So we actually have a sign that is for to be installed tomorrow for Family Physicians of Marion. Wow, and that, that's a pretty big piece. Yes, this is actually a 24 by 49 piece. So that's two foot by four foot. And this is a layered substrate. So we've got a graphite top with a silver bottom, so we're etching off the graphite to reveal the silver. It's a little dusty right now, so we'll clean that up and you can see it. But taking it from that, you can actually double up on things that you do for your real sign companies, your, right. your big deals, and that is taking an authentic bourbon barrel head. So this is the head off of a bourbon barrel that we've cut half inch thick acrylic and layered that over top to create just something one of a kind and special. Yeah, we've got two different materials that you've used here com with completely different ideas where one is into it, one's cutting pieces out and all done with the AP laser. Yes, yeah, so let's close that up right fast and show you another piece so this is acrylic but it's etched and it's cut but what's special about it is it's an inch thick and it has smooth edges as soon as it comes out of the laser yes. so with other materials you might have some jaggedness but not with the AP laser yeah because this wasn't the piece that you put into the AP laser you put a bigger piece yes. in and then cut everything out mm -hmm. so we went something that's very uh, shallow mm -hmm. to make this part, and but yet you can cut that thick? Yes, you can cut an inch thick acrylic with the AP laser, and that's what it's all about, from the technical support to the before you buy Facebook group, right. and then moving into the user group, and let's say, hey, it's 3 a.m., you're having issues, you can always call the 24-7 tech support. And that's the reason why your quality is there with the AP laser. Okay, so what we've seen, though, still only just 
scratches the surface. Oh, yes. Etches the surface, so to speak, uh, with what the AP laser can do with all of the different depths, actually cutting pieces, etching into them from the different types of materials. And this isn't the only AP laser machine. No, they have multiple sizes. And at 1245 Graphics, we have the 4836, which is one of their largest machines because 1245 Graphics does a lot. We, we're screen printing, embroidery, signs, wraps, the whole kit and caboodle and whenever you pair that whenever you pair your business with AP laser you open up into a new market of things from trophies signs plaques granite bourbon barrel clocks the list goes on and on because right. you're really limitless with the quality you're getting with AP Laser. Right, so whether you are looking to add on to your business, maybe start into a new business, there's so many different options that you have with the AP Laser. You can find out more by going to their website at aplaser.com forward slash TV, and we'll have more of Performance TV coming up right after this. The Indianapolis Motor Speedway covers over 250 acres. Just to put that into perspective, everything on this list could fit inside the 2.5 mile track with room to spare. Or if you'd rather, three Disneyland parks could fit into the infield. Amazingly, Indy cars can lap all of it in just under 40 seconds. Stay tuned, we'll be back with more from the Performance TV studio right after this. Performance TV is brought to you by Borla, the world's most winning exhaust. Steel rubber products, quality crafted rubber parts and weather stripping. RockAuto.com, all the parts your car will ever need. And by Magic Creeper, the most versatile creeper ever. Welcome back with more of Performance TV. It's fun to customize your vehicle and by doing so, saving some brake dust and really making it look cool. And that's why we have Mike here with us from MGP Caliper Covers. And Mike, you really got this idea from just sitting back and looking at your own vehicle. Yeah, I had a vehicle, a, a, a Denali, had big wheels on it and I noticed that the caliper behind the wheel was quite ugly. There's some other options on there, painting and doing something, but I, I came up with this design we, uh, we got a clip design that works really well. It's a do-it-yourself job. The materials are aluminum, stainless steel, so they're gonna last forever on your car. That's right, there's, there's no plastic no. here whatsoever. And what I'm seeing, not only all the different colors, but we've got a lot of different names on here. You guys are working with the manufacturers. We are, we are we're blessed. We have license agreements with GM, uh, Honda, Acura, uh, Ford, Mopar, who carries the Jeep and Dodge lines. So yeah, we were honored to be associated with those companies. And not only the colors that we're seeing here, but if you wanted to perfectly match your vehicle, you could do that. Yes, we have the ability to do a color match, a custom color match. So all we need is a paint code and we can color match it. And these things are so super easy to install. Very easy, very easy. About five minutes a wheel. Five minutes a wheel, I like it. Let's check in with Joe. We're going to spiff up the look of this new 2020 Silverado with some caliper covers. Mike, how are we going to handle this? We're going to show how this product is put on. It's a great do-it-yourself product. It'll take that ugly caliper and make it look good and add color behind the wheel. Seems like a pretty simple install with these stainless steel clips, aircraft quality nut. It's not going to rust. It's going to hold it on there. And uh, just like that, it looks like somebody can handle it at home. It's no problem. Jack up the car, take off the wheel, and I'll show you how to put it on right now. Let's do it. Let's get in it. First of all, we got a brand new Silverado. What's going to make this thing look nicer? Well, we got our Chevrolet caliper covers. Fits the brand. It does. We're, uh, we're actually licensed with Chevrolet. Chevrolet and all GM models, so we're allowed to put on their logos onto the caliper covers, which will match your truck. All the uh, caliper covers are aluminum base. They're formed to fit the caliper. All the engraving you see here is actually 30 thousandths deep, so it'll never scratch off. We finish it with a, with a tough powder coat, and then we paint fill in the characters for that added color. Very cool. It looks very nice, but also some added benefits with brake dust. Added benefits of brake dust, yeah, it helps foil the brake dust behind the wheel if you have heavy brake dust. And with the material being aluminum as well, it'll also dissipate heat off the caliper. It acts like a, like a heat sink. Very interesting. All right, so what's the first step? First step, we remove the nuts off the clips, and each clip comes in and goes right over the rotor and just snaps into place on the top of the caliper in this instance. Pretty much just press it on. Just press it on. So put on each side. 
snap it into place just like that. And this is actually what holds the caliper cover onto the caliper. This is the trick. The, the clips are the trick to the whole deal. And you'll see the slotted uh, holes here. So what I do in this instance is we line up that with the uh, studs and this one's going to snap into place. As you see on this caliper, it's got a, kind of a bar across the top. So this one's going to snap down right into place. The 1032 nuts have the star washer built into them. Thank you. And that star washer, as you compress it down, compresses into the material and actually holds that nut in place. For a nice secure fit. Now why not a, a nylock or an elastic stop nut? Great question. We don't put a nylock on there because of the heat of the caliper as the heat heats up and cools down, it'll just wipe out that nylon. And then you'll have your caliper covers coming loose. Better design. I like I it. I want that, yeah. So the uh, torque spec for a 1032 is uh, 25 inch pounds if you're using a torque wrench. Otherwise just a good tight right there and it's locked into place. A great look, our white Silverado, and that's what people like. They like their calipers to match the color of their paint scheme, whatever the car, and it's not just for trucks either. Not just for trucks. We cover everything from small cars to large cars, European models, uh, Japanese models. We cover almost everything that we could possibly cover within the range between a, a Mini Cooper to an F-350 truck. So our install up front is done. We're gonna put the front tire back on. What's different about the rear? Different about the rear is that it will be a little bit different with the clip design. The rear calipers are a floating caliper, which is more traditional, and the clips will come on from each side just like they do here with the studs in place. Put the caliper cover over it, lock it down, same basic procedure. Just like that, if you're looking to dress up your car or truck with some really nice caliper covers that go on super easy, check out their website. They've got a lot going on for a lot of different vehicles. We'll have more Performance TV after this. Okay, Performance TV fans, time to test your automotive IQ. General Motors performed the first automotive crash test way back in 1934. When did the federal government begin publishing the results of their crash testing? Was it 1940, 1955, 1968, or 1979? If you guessed 1979, you know your stuff. Keep it right here for more Performance TV, next. Performance TV coming from Borla Commerce Park. Welcome back to Performance TV. As you know, Performance TV is all about performance. And we've got a great example coming up right here, especially for you Ford EcoBoost users. We've got Andrew in the house from CR Performance, a whole host of upgrades. Andrew, what have you got? Uh, today I got to show here our stage three performance upgrades and also our full bore performance manifolds, which are one of our flagship products with CR. Now you have a background in motorsports, so turbocharge, the smaller engines like the EcoBoost, that's in your wheelhouse. What did you used to do? That's right. I used to be a rally mechanic for three years and had a lot of great experience at Target Newfoundland. And I also race in a series called Champ Car and have a great time with our team in that series. Very exciting. Can't have any turbo lag on those rally cars. So what's better about these manifolds? Uh, we got a lot of great improvements over stock on the manifolds. So we've optimize the port geometry. We've got thicker bosses, which are higher and reduce the stress on the studs. And uh, we also use a high sill material, which uh, gives you a lot better performance in high temperature. Excellent, all right, what else? What about the turbochargers? I know these are your flagship. You've also got some new designs. I see some 3D prints. That's right, so we have here a sample of the future product of ours for 2017 and up uh, F-150 and the Ford Raptor. Uh, this product has all the same great features as of our past product. It'll be released this summer. We also have today uh, some samples of our castings, which we just got last week. Now, the technology is always advancing forward. This is uh, an engine that has unlimited power in that uh, I know you have some turbo upgrades that maybe someone is interested in. How much more power can they make? Uh, it's dependent on the platform, but we have a lot of them in the 150 horse rear wheel horsepower all the way up to 200 rear wheel horsepower gain between stock to with a 93 tune. And what about for the person who likes to do things on their own? I know that they can order something from you guys, but what if they want to do it themselves? Uh, we have a great product for an enthusiast who really wants to get hands on with our stage three upgrade here, which is in a super core format. So this Supercore, you install onto your stock turbine housing and use your own wastegate 
actuator, and that gives a great price point for this product. So they get some savings if they choose to do it themselves. Exactly. You put a couple hours into it, and then you get a great savings on that. And still make a lot of power and have a fun project. Exactly. Now, what are some of the other upgrades? I see we've got some billet wheels here, the factory one, and then is that your design? Yeah, exactly. So this example right here for the 2018 ones, we have the stock in the front here, and then we have what we modify it to for stage 3, 46 mil in the back. And what kind of power increase would that be? Uh, this one for 2018 and up and on the Raptor, you're looking at 200 rear wheel horsepower over stock, and that's with the 93 tune to support it. It's amazing what can be done with these turbochargers and uh, little technology, fuel injection, etc. Now, what about someone who just wants to order up the best that you've got? What would you say that is? It's probably this set right now because we're seeing massive gains. It's capable of uh, 600 crank horsepower. It's one of the great products for any 2018 and up. And even on the Ford Raptor, which already comes with a lot of power, you'll still get 165 rear wheel horsepower gain with this. So you have been able to take a design that comes from Ford, go into it, use your experience, redesign some of it, and make more power. Exactly. That is incredible stuff that you've got going on. I like the fact that you've used your motorsport background, some experience off-road and rally cars, and taken this modern technology and wrung some more power out of it. And I guess it's changing every day. Oh, definitely. There's even big differences between the 2013 to 16 year range and the 2018 and up. You can see that Ford's implemented an electronic actuator, which gives you a faster response because uh, you don't have any lag from the wastegate accidentally opening under back pressure. There's also a map width enhancement groove built into these compressor covers, which is an all new thing for the 3.5 liter. This gives you a, a better surge margin, which gives you good towing performance and a boosted application. And it also gives you a higher top end, so you can get more power out of it. Now you're speaking my language, whether it comes to towing, which a lot of our people use, or flat out power, maybe even on the track. If you're an EcoBoost guy, you want to check out their website. The guys at CR Performance have got it going on. Andrew, thank you very much. And we'll be back with more Performance TV after this. There are about 327 million people in the United States, and 67% of them have driver's licenses. Which state has the most licensed drivers per capita? We can tell you it's not New York. Only 59% of New Yorkers drive. At 88%, Vermont has the most licensed drivers per capita. Performance TV is brought to you by Stage 8 Fasteners, home of the world's best locking header bolt. Locking kits now available for all turbo applications. Go to stage8.com. Rod in Supply. We don't just sell them, we race them. Read Machine. Don't be smoked by the others. Get the real deal. And by Clamp Tight, the clamp making tool. So much fun going out in your Jeep, you know, just cruising around. You're out rock crawling, you're doing whatever, but you kind of feel like you're stuck inside if you have your roof on. Absolutely, you want to be out in nature, but if you've got a standard Jeep with a standard roof, you got nothing to look at, right. unless you get a clear lid. Yeah, this thing is super cool. First of all, Joe, it is made out of the same polycarbonate that you're gonna have like in a fighter plane. So this stuff is super, super strong, 12,500 pounds per square inch that this thing can handle. It's like shatterproof. Very tough. It is clear. It has nine mounting points, so it's going to be on there very solid, and you can install it very easily. And that changes your riding experience. Again, you want to be out there in nature. You want to be able to look up, but you also want to be protected from the sun, and the clear lid has that with UVA, UVB protection. When you're inside and it's over you, you are protected. If you want to pop it off, it happens real easy. You using the OEM latches and the nine connection points. Right. Simple. And getting back to what you were saying about the, you're not going to get sunburned. You're not going to feel hot. It's also going to protect your interior as well. So if you've got the nice leather or whatever, you're not going to have to worry about, oh, the sun's like baking it and all of that. No, nothing like that at all. But you're still going to be able to have a 180 degree view 
and be able to enjoy the city lights cruising around or just the sunshine. It changes the game. People with Jeeps want to be out in nature, certainly want to appreciate what's going on above them. You don't want to be in a military style vehicle hunkered down in there. We're out in the wilderness and so ClearLids has got that problem sorted out and it's pretty easy to install. You're probably going to want to have a friend over. You could do it by yourself, but it's just so much easier with a friend. That's right. Invite a friend over and you can just put this on. Everything is going to be attached. And of course, like you said, with the OEM latches here, slide these on, latch it down and you are ready to go. Check out their website for more at clearlidswithaz.com. I don't know about you, Joe, but when you're out on the trail and you're riding around, you're having a good time. OK, we're hungry. Well, now we're going to eat a cold sandwich. And I don't want to stop either. And that's why the AT hot box is something that solves both of those problems. A slow cooker for while you're trail riding. You can be preparing lunch or dinner. And then when you pull over, you got a hot meal. That's right. We're not using the grill. We're not worried about starting a fire or anything like that that we have to tend to. This unit hooked right into basically the cooling system of your vehicle. A very easy installation. They come in multiple colors, stainless steel inside, and while you're riding, you're cooking whatever it might be, dogs, sausage, brisket, whatever you happen to put in Squirrels. there. It's a great product. <laughs> it's an accessory for you trail riders out there. And uh, I just love the fact that they're making it easier. It's adding an element so that you can have a hot meal wherever you go. That's right. For an example, you could take like a, a raw chicken breast or whatever. You could put it in here two, two and a half hours because the temperature inside is going to be governed by the thermostat of whatever vehicle that you're using it on. So say like, you know, 180, 200, you're not going to be able to bake in here. But let me tell you, you can cook a lot of stuff. Two, two and a half hours. Like I said, pull over that chicken breast or that ribeye or whatever is ready to go. And how about our food back here? Is it ready to go? I it know is you ready want to me go. To make it has been just me. enough time. Yeah. Reach into the hot box, pull out our pulled pork. Today we'll be having pulled pork and that I have prepared with love. With yeah. love. That's yes. that's awesome. Something else to keep in mind. You can just use containers just like this. Double bag it up. That way you're not going to have a mess and we can have our sandwiches or like I said, the chicken breast or a lot of other stuff. So many things and the more you use it, the more creative you'll become. Absolutely. So go to their website to find out more. ATHotbox.com. I'm loving it. I'm hungry. Yes. But guess what? That's all the time we have for this week's Performance TV. If you'd like to see your ingenious product on our show, email Jeff at masterstv.com. We'll see you next time here on Performance TV.